Hey, what's up, SaaS Masters? My name is George, and today I want to show you a platform that lets you unify your messages and comments in one single place, plus some additional tools that help you be more organized and save time. Now, this platform is called Radar, and I'm going to show you what this is all about. Now, if you guys would like to grab a deal that's going on right now, that link will be in the description. So, let's go jump into Radar right now. Okay guys, this is my Radar workspace that I'm working right now and it's connected to my SaaS Master YouTube and Facebook group. Now, like I said before, this is for connecting social media accounts so you can view them all in one single place. That's the beauty about this. So it's about saving time. Now, one of the things is that you gotta get used to using something like this because obviously before this or something that similar to this, you're used to going into every single social media account and responding every single one in individual websites. In here, you do this every single one in, inside of here. Now, let me show you the first step is to actually connect your social media accounts. So we're gonna head over to settings, can, channels, and this is where we're going to connect. You can click on connect and you have all these available options to connect for radar. So you got Facebook fan page, so you got Facebook group, Instagram business, it has to be business. Twitter user, LinkedIn organization, person, YouTube channel, Vimeo, and Google search. So you have all those options available to connect. In this case, I connected my Facebook fan page, group, my Instagram account, YouTube, and yep, here's my group for Facebook. So all those are available. Now, some of the things aren't available for everything. So for example, if I needed to monitor, I can't do it, for example, on the fan page, that's not available, but the analytics are, and some analytics aren't available on the other ones. Just something that you have to be aware of there. So once you connect, you are ready to actually receive the messages on your radar. So let's go over to inbox. And one of the things that um, you're gonna view on inbox on radar is that it's actually like an email inbox, all right? So on the left, you got inbox, you got waiting, starred, archived, sent, and deleted, all right? And on the bottom, we have sources. Um, maybe you want to filter out just to view Facebook, so you click on that one. So here I got some messages from YouTube. Here we got one from Graha Rabaf. Um, he's probably from India, so I don't know how to say his name, but here's one of the messages. If I click on it, I'm able to view it and actually respond to it, okay? So you can view right here that I've actually responded to him before. I got the info right here from, from who? So basically, he, these are other people who have messaged inside of this comment. So you can view them right here. And we got, for example, six days ago, five days ago, four and eight hours ago. So I can respond from here if I wanted to. I can submit a like. I can enable emojis if I need to use them. And I have canned responses, which they called quick replies. Quick replies are super neat because they save you time. So for example, if I'm constantly telling my um, subscribers, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe, right? That could be something I'm telling them. Well, I can create a new quick reply, which would be, thank you, subscribe, all right? So that's the title I'm gonna give it and then I write the message. I could be a super long message or it could be a short one. So the idea is to not write every single time that thank you message, or maybe it's a, I don't know, a steps message. All right, the first step is, first step you gotta do is go log in, go into jump this, go and add that, okay? You would add that in the quick replies. So if I wanted to add this quick reply right now, I would select it. This one, this one is a quick reply I added before. So those are things you do. I can edit this one, I can send it out, and I can delete it, okay? So it saves you time. All this information is available to help you be more organized. Next thing we have is, for example, for each individual message, we got the actions available. Now, heads up, this is something I really like, is that the actions can be used from your keyboard. So, for example, if I wanted to start that message, all I have to do is click the F on my keyboard, and it does it. I don't have to go over there and click on it. Obviously, you'd have to remember these options available, so you don't have to go through that all over again. If I wanted to archive it, just click on A. Yeah, I can keep it a neutral, which is right now. And I can say if this is a positive message or negative, and I can actually delete it. So let's just say I wanna start this. Let me click on it again right here, and I'll click F. Oops. All right, successfully updated. Okay, now it's starred. And if I wanted to view more messages, I can view them right here. So here's one from my Facebook group. SaaS Master Works. That's what's the test that someone sent out. 
And if I wanted to filter these out, for example, I'll click on Facebook and I'll view the ones that have to do with Facebook. Um, Instagram, I don't think I have any messages. Nope, nothing happening there. By the way, if you guys would like to follow me on Instagram, that link will be in the description. For YouTube, that is connected, so I will be viewing them right here. The idea is to view everything in one single place. Obviously, I haven't connected all my social media accounts, but that would be right here. Now, it's pretty cool that we have this, for example, on the inbox. There's a search option to make everything easier. So, for example, um, let's say th thank you, right? Let's click on enter. It's going to filter out all the messages that have thank you into it. Now, this is useful for two reasons. One, because you can find the messages that actually say thank you. And two, because you have the option to export. You can export these messages to save them for anything you want. So the search results can be saved as, well, you can actually export them, not actually save them. Save them externally, actually. And that's basically how the inbox work. Now, they have several other tools that's inbuilt here. One of the other ones is Monitor. Monitoring is really cool because it monitors um, who's been mentioning you or the name that you've added here. Now, it's really important that you set this up the right way. I actually did it the wrong way because I wanted to show you actual results right now because I haven't received any results on SaaS Master. Okay, so if someone uses SaaS Master in a comment in those social media accounts, it's gonna I'm going to be notified right here. I've added SaaS, which is a general term. It's not recommended that you use this. I'm just using it to show you what happens. So it's showing me here people who have mentioned SaaS in all these places right here. And I can view them, right? So it helps me. But I would recommend that you create a new query with the right keyword. So for example, um, they put an example, and it's a really good one. For example, them, radar, right? Which is with a double A. Search the, the channels that you want to search on. The excluded keywords, so for example, radar with only one A. We don't want to view those. And banned sources would be, for example, websites that have to do, in this case, for example, radar is about social media. It's about um, platform, it, unified inbox and all that. We want to we wanna ban sources, for example, like um, weather websites, all right? Since it's radar, it's kind of related to it. You don't want to relate it to weather. You don't want to get those kind of search results. So you can ban those sources. And you can select multiple language that have to do with the ones you want to track, all right? and then you save it. I'm not gonna use it, but you get the idea of how mon monitoring works. Now, depending on the deal that you select, it's a, the amount of monitors, monitoring queries that you're gonna be able to, to add right here and receive. Next thing we have is a scheduler. Scheduler will let you, will obviously schedule to other social media accounts, super easy to use. Click on it. If you wanna use that, the time zone is based on your workspace. So this workspace is tied to SAS Master. So it's using my time zone right here. I can select the date that I want to post, apply it, go to add, and I got the options right here. I can post to the social media accounts that I have connected if they are available to post, right? It can be a social media account that doesn't allow it, but in this case it does. Um, basic ones, image, video, gallery, link, text, and stories coming soon. Drop files here, add information. You got some um, basic information there. Location, add some comments, shorten URL, receive notifications when posted. Um, this will shorten URL with radar's short URL, URL, sorry. If you don't want to use that, disable it. It's pretty cool because it actually tracks uh, more information about it. Once this is posted, we have information on comments that are based on that one that you post. So it's pretty useful. It's not just like I'm gonna schedule, you actually track comments right here. And it's pretty easy, just schedule there. Plus, plus if you hover over these flags, it tells you what the holiday is going to be. For example, Armed Forces Day is coming. If you wanna do a post related to it, well, you know what to do, right? You can view them easily right there. Now, heads up, every single tool that they have, inbox, monitoring, schedule, analytics, passbook, there's a special video for each one to show you in depth how to actually use it. Those links will be, those links will be in the description. Okay. Next one we have is analytics. Analytics, you can build your own type of preview dashboard for the analytics. So in this case, if I wanted to add a new widget, I add how I actually want to view it. So it's not like general analytics and I have to view everything. I select what I actually want to use. So for example, view actually. So for example, if it has to do with Facebook, I can view the analytics for followers, viewers, engagements like that. And just use what I actually I find useful, not every single thing. For Instagram, you got different ones for Twitter, for LinkedIn, 
moderate and general conversations. So you have those there and it adds them one by one. Here's some basic analytics that I've added just to show you the overview right there. We can add more widgets, reload, and I got a tour. We can also create a new board for different type of analytics that we need. For example, I can make my widgets just based on Facebook and then make another board that I want to do it just for Instagram and maybe a general one and just you have those options there. Next tool that we have is Passbook. For the Passbook, um, it's actually pretty straightforward. You have to create a master password, um, heads up, only you can actually use it. So it's really important that you actually save it and you know it because not even Radar knows the password. So pretty straightforward also, you add your passwords there and you safe keep them, right? So you can use them later and view them if you need them. Next thing we have is utilities. Right here in utilities, we have the URL shortener and guest management. And this is where you would view all the links that you have available from the posts that were made and everything that was shortened with Radar. You would view the links right here. So basically, that is what Radar does. The most important part is obviously the unified inbox. And the other ones are the extra tools that are pretty useful, like Monitor, it's pretty useful for me, and Analytics. A scheduler and Passbook is kind of like a secondary thing for me. I don't think it's a main feature. And I think they need to a little bit work a little bit more on that. And I wish for the inbox, they added emails. That would be pretty awesome if I had my, in my inbox right here. So that way I don't even have to go over to my inbox for emails and I have everything in one single place and I can just respond from here with all the tools that I have available in here of Radar. Well, I thank you all for watching. My name is George, this is SaaS Master and I'll see you guys later.